Well, hey guys, Mike Caudill, Brand Ambassador for Go RVing, and it is Wednesday night. I know you all know and understand how much I look forward to sharing with you every Wednesday night. This is something new that we're doing for the year. I was on with you last week, and uh, unfortunately tonight, I'm not going to be with you live. I am actually getting ready to head out on a little bit of a winter adventure, and the place that I'm going to be going, the Chocolate Mountains, which is between California and Arizona, right on the border, there is no cell service. Uh, but I'm going to give you some tips, tricks, and hacks on things that you can consider or should consider as you get ready to head out. Winter RVing experience. So it's all about that winter RV experience. So I wanted to run you through a couple different things that we consider as we get ready to pack up our RV and head out. So the first thing you want to think about is service. During the winter months, if you pack your RV away, you're going to fill those lines with uh, RV antifreeze. So you're going to want to make sure those are all cleaned out and ready to go. But the big key is making sure that your propane is topped off, all your hoses and seals that control the water flow are ready to roll and that your thermostat works because there's nothing worse than having a thermostat that is down so you can't control your heat inside your RV. I also love, and this is a big go RVing with the Caudills thing, we love to throw some extra sleeping bags in for a variety of different reasons. One, it's important to have them because it's just cold. The other part is it's just fun to snuggle up in those sleeping bags at night instead of getting under covers. It kind of keeps you a little bit more warm. Uh, our kids get up in the morning, they unzip them, and then they use them as blankets, which is also great. Uh, also think about your general insulation with your RV as well. One thing we do in the winter months is once we get to our RV spot, we actually close all of our blinds and we leave them closed the entire time we're there. We do that because when you leave them closed, you're just controlling the heat. You're not letting the hot air out, you're not letting the cold air in. So think about that as well. Also during the winter months, we actually switch out our rugs. We put more rugs down and we put thicker rugs down, and those are great because it also helps us from the standpoint of keeping our feet warm as we're walking inside our RV. On top of our RV, we actually go with an aftermarket vent cover. So your RV will come with a standard vent, and then what we do is we put the vent cover over it. That allows us to control the hot air coming, uh, going out and the cool air coming in. So that's another added bonus and feature, something that we do. And then one thing we also do is we throw some extra backup water inside our RV, whether it's gonna be used for your hands and washing or you're gonna actually uh, be using it as drinkable water. We just like to have extra water in there because you never know what can happen when you're camping out there in the winter months. So here's my last and best tip for you. We have an oven inside our RV, and when you're doing a lot of RV camping in the winter, you tend to cook more inside. So here's our tip. If you have an RV with an oven, when you're done cooking, leave that oven open. So turn it off, of course, but leave it open and let that heat permeate out. It actually serves as kind of a free heater for your RV. So there you go, gang. It's Wednesday. It's all about tips, tricks, and hacks. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you get a chance, uh, check out Go RVing with the Caudills. We have a lot of fun stuff we're posting over on that Facebook and Instagram page as well. But again, looking forward to being with you guys again next week. I'll be back in Nashville, Tennessee. For now, as my dad would say, bye for now from California. Have a great night, everyone.